Hey guys, we're at the Wolverhampton Country Night with Emma Swindles. Emma. Hello, hello. Really nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you guys too. Thanks for coming. Yeah, no problems. You're a local girl, aren't you? Based in Wolverhampton. I, I literally live round the corner. Like, <laughs> if we didn't have all the kit, I probably should walk. <laughs> so where did the love of country music come from as a Midlands girl? Um, you probably heard this answer like a million times, but um, it was Taylor Swift really that opened the door to me. Um, yeah, from, I mean, the early stuff, you know, the first album. Um, Tim McGraw, Teardrops on My Guitar. The Fearless album was the, the major one for me. I keep saying that Taylor Swift is my, like, my guitar teacher because I learned all the, you know, the main chords by playing, uh, by playing her songs. And then it just progressed from uh, yeah. Carrie Underwood and Keith Urban, Tim McGraw. Yeah. I think it's quite a small um, kind of community, isn't it? Once you've heard of one artist, they've definitely collaborated with somebody else along the line, and then you, you soon discover everybody else. How did the career start for you? Like, how does an aspiring country music singer start out? Um, I started playing uh, kind of open mics at a university. Um, I joined the Open Mic Society, and I went to uh, Aberystwyth University, and there's there's so many pubs there. I think there's the most pubs square mile in the UK or something in Aberystwyth. So they had, I was, I was lucky, I guess. They had so many opportunities for you to get out and, and try new things. So um, I was mainly playing a lot of covers back then, you know, secretly writing. <laughs> and then um, came back and there was a um, there was a songwriter night with uh, Ash Cooper was organising it in Rugeley. And he invited me along. And that's when I really showcased the original material. I didn't really turn back from there, really. And you travelled across America in 2013, wasn't it? Yeah. So what did you learn from that experience as a musician? Oh, that I love America. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I just, I don't think I really appreciated before, and it sounds like a really silly comment to make, but the, the vast space. I mean, because I, you do it all by car, you know, we did it by van and we just drove across and luckily they let me DJ a lot so I was giving everybody a, um, an education. I think Tim McGraw's album Two Lanes of Freedom had literally just yeah. come out and so that, that song Two Lanes of Freedom is like album. mine. Oh it's fantastic. Absolutely but that, that particular song was like, I felt like I was living it, you know, <laughs> Two Lanes of Freedom. Yeah. I was like, yeah, so good. it's so brilliant, good. yeah. So um, when you released your first EP, Flatline, uh, mm. you performed at C2C straight yeah. after, didn't you? So yeah. how was that experience? Well, to be honest, I applied for C2C thinking, you know, jump right in, you never know. I mean, I, I didn't think I'd had a, a chance at, at getting on it. And then we did get on, and I was like, oh my gosh, we're actually playing, you know, um, better get things sorted. And we're thinking, oh, we'll do flyers and get posters and, mm. you know, maybe get some T-shirts made. Then we got an email saying the only thing you can sell is music. And by this point, we had nothing recorded or anything ready. So um, so I spoke to Justin and I said, well, I need something like yesterday. <laughs> and what can we do? So we did the just two acoustic tracks, really, um, just so I had something to release at C2C. And you've acquired a few band members since then, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, after playing at C2C, I said, right, aim of the year is to get... Um, is to get some band members and make the sound bigger um, and then get off to recording, which, you know, where I'm at now. Will we see a full band more on a regular basis? Um, well, we tend to have it at the country night, yeah, pretty much, or is it, definitely as a trio. Um, it, it's, it's hard to get everybody together on, uh, sometimes on all of the gigs, um, but definitely I'm, I love performing as a band. Tell us about this whole Wolverhampton country night. How did this come about? Um, yeah. I was being interviewed with Jim. I was on his radio show. I'm, I, I can't even remember like what we were, the original purpose was was about. Yeah. I think it's. I came back off of um, from C two C and one of the other ladies on Wolverhampton Radio was like, I want to interview you. So I went on her show, and there was another guy who did another show, and um, I went on his show, and Jim was going, "Hang on, <laughs> like I do the country show. Why have you not come on my show?" So we eventually went on, and then what? You know, when you're playing the tracks in between, we have a good chat, and we're saying we need to do more in the in, yeah. a, in the Midlands, and he said, "Let's just let's make a country night." And um, yeah, well, we didn't hear anything for a while. Then he gave me a random phone call. Right, we're doing it. I've got the venue. Get some acts in. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, do a poster. Get some. So I made yeah. the Facebook page, and it was really good because the interest just it came straight in. Mm. I think the fact that Wolfsot's been running for such a long time, um, we do have a following in the Midlands yeah. already. It's just trying to capture it and, and get them along so to the it night. So it gets bigger and bigger. Yeah, well, it has been, you know. So, and we've got. I think we're booked in now till September. We've got the dates booked in. So hopefully. Good stuff. 
keep going. Yeah. And you're launching your new EP next Friday yeah, next at the Friday, Grand Store. Next aren't you? Friday, really excited. Really exciting. It's one of those. I mean, I've been playing the songs now for so long, and just been meaning just to record to them. Out, so, yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm already thinking about recording the next. Yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> it's, it's nice to have them have it released. And what can we expect from the EP? Um, pretty much everything that you've heard tonight, a bar, I think one song. Um, I wanted to keep them very kind of authentic to how we sound live. Um, a lot of banjo, guitar. I mean, I did get a fiddle player on. That's only different. So I was like, I love, I love the fiddle. I would, if I could find a fiddle player join the band, I would. Um, yeah, it's just good fun. Good stuff. And what can we expect from the rest of the year from you? What's on the calendar? Um, oh, we've got, we've got so many festivals. I think we're playing every week or something over the summer. So um, I'll be releasing the, all the dates on my Facebook page soon. Um, obviously, the country nights, um, keep developing them. And, um, yeah, hopefully keep writing new music. Brilliant. Thanks for joining us. Thank uh, you so much for coming. It was lovely to meet you guys. And you. Cheers. Go and check out the new EP when it comes out. Yeah. <laughs>